Hi, my name is Stephanie Wright, and I'm looking forward to starting this class with everyone. Um, I am currently finishing up my 12th year of teaching. I teach in Baltimore County Public Schools, which is in Maryland, um, in a very large school district. Um, Baltimore County Public Schools is actually the 25th largest district in the nation and the third in Maryland. So. Um, I have a lot of experience from a very large district and um, seeing leadership on a big, um, in a big picture. Um, I am currently teaching second grade and I've taught second, third, fourth, and fifth grades over my 12 years, but next year I'm getting ready to take a different position, which really leads me to why I am pursuing this administration degree. Um, I am not necessarily looking for the role of a principal right now, um, although that's something that I could see myself down the road being interested in. I'm just really looking for leadership opportunities within my county. And next school year, I will be a consulting teacher, which is a teacher that works with brand new teachers and um, teachers who are rated as ineffective as a mentoring and um, coaching and evaluative role. So I'm really excited for this course because I really think this course is going to provide me with um, some great information about the whole evaluation system. So, um, but as a leader, I'm just looking for the opportunity to make an impact on more children. And I really think that's what that role of principal allows you to do in any leadership role in the county. Um, you know, I've always thought from my own classroom was where I'd have the biggest impact. And I know that I've had an impact there and so many of our teachers do every day. But I recognize that taking that knowledge and um, information that I've learned over my years of educating I can use that to impact more teachers and in turn impact more students. So my ultimate goal and reason for wanting to go into leadership is really just to have that bigger impact um, to provide, bring about change in education that will benefit all students and will benefit teachers too and even communities. So um, I'm looking forward to moving forward in leadership and maybe one day down the road being ready for that um, leadership role as a principal. Um, obviously, as a classroom teacher, we have lots of experience with uh, being evaluated, um, but not necessarily as much experience with evaluating. But um, I have had the opportunity to be in a leadership or supervising role as in um, supervising an intern. And so with the interns, I've had the opportunity to obviously evaluate them, provide that mentoring and coaching and co-teaching. Um, I've also had leadership roles in my school on our school leadership team, working with the data of the school building itself and um, helping develop our school improvement plan for the last five years. And within my county, I've had the opportunity to write curriculum and evaluate curriculum, which has just given me an opportunity to see a bigger picture um, outside of my classroom. And I've taken on many opportunities to allow people to come into my classroom just to um, open my doors, to let them see my instructional practices, and to really debrief and reflect with them on the best practices for instruction. Um, with regards to evaluation, um, like many classroom teachers, my role with evaluation has been being evaluated. And in our district, um, you know, we have when you're considered your um, summative year, we have two evaluations, but for other years, you just have the one formal evaluation. Now, our administrators, and excuse my kids in the background, um, our administrators do a really great job of making sure that they are informally coming in our rooms and giving us feedback. I honestly find that to be the most valuable feedback because it's um, more of like a real time where they might even just mention something to us or put a note on our desk or a note in our mailbox. And to me, that's more beneficial because they're seeing me in the moment, um, what, you know, it looks like day to day. And it's something that I quickly get that feedback about and I'm able to make changes or adjustments, or sometimes it's just that nice reinforcement of what you're doing. So I feel like that is, um, that has really been what I've had for feedback, um, we use the Charlotte Danielson model, and so we look at the different domains in my district, and um, all of our feedback is based around those domains. So when we have any of our formal type of conversations, our evaluations, our evaluations are done based on um, feedback, feedback of the different domains for Charlotte Danielson. And next year, my role as a CT 
will require me to be very knowledgeable of um, those domains and to provide feedback and reflection conversations based on those domains with my clients that I'll work with in the school system. So I'm really looking forward to this class. I'm looking forward to learning a lot. I feel like it's really going to benefit me, um, especially in the upcoming years as I go into this new position. But as I said, you know, I never know what the future holds and what leadership will look like for me. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting to meet all of you and to learn more from all of you. Thanks.